going to talk a little bit about some safety ways, safety things that involve the wagon. One, there are times where individuals, usually children, are buried in the wagon. Sometimes the wagon is being filled, sometimes the wagon is being empty. So we're going to pretend this bucket here of bird seed is my combine. And let's say the combine is full, they come by, they dump the combine into the wagon, and maybe it fills the wagon about half up, and then the combine's back out into the field, and the wagon is half full here. If, they're far, if the wagon sits close to the farmstead, maybe the little kids come out to the wagon, okay? Usually a ladder on the back side. The kids will crawl up there, jump in here, Maybe they're playing around in the grain. What a wonderful day, having a wonderful time. They're playing in the wagon, and all of a sudden now the combine has filled another bin, and the combine comes back. Can the combine see the child? Can the person driving the combine see the child in the wagon? No, no they can't. This is an all steel wagon. So then the combine comes by again, and the combine will start dumping the next load in here, Within a matter of seconds, that child is buried. Nobody even knows the child's in there. All right, so that's one thing we've got to worry about is keeping the kids out of the wagon. Doesn't matter if they're being filled or empty. So that's one direction we can talk about as far as, as suffocation. So now I'm going to give you a little demonstration on how quickly that happens when the wagon is empty. And again, a lot of times, sometimes it's the parent's fault that they let the kids ride in the wagon. Maybe the wagon is full out in the field and they're pulling the wagon into the farmstead. Oh, kids, you wanna ride in the wagon? Maybe those adults even let the kids ride in the wagon. You're teaching the kids that that's a playground. No, that's not a playground. We gotta keep the kids out of there. We don't even want them in there thinking it's the right thing to do. Because what happens if that wagon now is sitting in front of the auger the wagon's ready to be emptied, and a child maybe comes out of the house, crawls up that ladder, and they're in here, and then maybe somebody gets off of the tractor. They're coming around here to open this up. Do they even know that child's in the wagon? No. Within three to five seconds, this child is gonna be buried in grain, and you're gonna see very little grain is ever emptied out of this wagon. I'm gonna count this out. It's gonna take three to five seconds. 1,001 two, three, about three seconds. Look how little of grain has been emptied out of this wagon and the person has already gone from the top of the wagon clear down here to the bottom. Roughly three to five seconds. A lot of people don't realize this empties from the top down. It's actually a kind of a cone type of thing. The top goes right into the center and it empties from the top down. So. Within three to five seconds, you have a person that started up here on top. Another quick look right here. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and they're gone. Some people, if you don't have a gravity flow wagon, you can use a milk jug. This is a half gallon. I like using a gallon milk jug. Cut the bottom of the milk jug off you can scoop this up, fill this up with grain. You can put your person up on the top of that grain and then just open the lid like this and take it off. And the grain will go right down out of the milk carton, right into your bucket. So again, a, a very cheap hands-on activity and, and you can use just a, a gallon milk jug.